To build resilience, you have to, first of all, um, accept your misfortunes. And I always say to people, you know, a lot of, a lot of the answers is in the, the negative, you know, misfortune. The answer of fortune is built right in there. So you can find fortune in misfortune. So that's the same thing with our misfortunes in life. Sometimes our misfortunes give us strength. So if you look to build resilience, you have to look at the things that are bad that happen to you. They're the things that are building you up as long as we learn from them. And never allow yourself to feel sorry for yourself. That's a big one. You start feeling sorry for yourself. And when I say this, it's sometimes it's okay to get a little down, be a little, because it's, it's kind of a rest. I use depression as a rest. I do. If I feel depressed and down someday, I'll just, and I'll sit around and moat. But I never, ever allow myself to feel sorry for myself. I never allow my woman to feel sorry for me, and I never feel sorry for her. Because I always say this, when, when, when I'm saying I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm pathetic. You know, and we don't ever want to allow ourselves to be pathetic because I guarantee you, no matter what our situation is, there's somebody out there that got it way worse than we do. And if I'm feeling sorry for myself and my, my problems are here, and his problems are here, and he's not feeling sorry for himself, what does that make me? So if I keep that in, my, in mind, that helps me to stay resilient. The other thing is, you know, um, don't have expectations. You know, everything you do, do it because it's the right thing to do. And that's where it sits. If, if I know what I'm doing is the right thing to do, I'm not just doing it just for money or just for this or just for that and it's not going right. It doesn't matter if it's not going right. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going because this is the correct thing to do. This is the right thing that I'm supposed to be doing at this moment. And that goes, again, with planning and preparing properly and making sure that, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do. So I'm committed to this. So it doesn't matter what's happening. One or two things are going to happen. I'm either going to succeed I'm going to be dead. So either way, it's going to happen. I'll be like, yeah, or I'm not even going to know what happened. <laughs> so those are some of my tips on how to stay resilient because resilience is one of my top qualities. You know, I, I stay so resilient sometimes that people say, Jermaine, you're too resilient. When are you going to stop? You know?